If this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video and comment your feedback. So I have created a new React.js project using Create React App and removed all the boilerplate codes or unwanted files. Uh, and I have run the code. You can see the project here. Okay. So next I'm going to do is to create a new file. That is home.js, a new component. And I am calling this component in the app.js as like this way. Okay, so now you can see that uh, we have uh, uh, created a new component that is home.js and we have called that component in the app.js file. Okay, so next I am going to install the material UI into our React.js project. So for that, I'm going to the Material UI website. So here I'm going to click on the installation button that we can see here. So then we will be directly redirected to the installation page. So from here, I'm going to copy this command and run that command in a new terminal. Okay, so now the material UI will be installed into our React.js project. Okay, so you can see that in the package.json, uh, uh, we have uh, installed the material UI in our project. So next, I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to use the button component from the material UI. So I'm going to use this button as like this way and giving the button as start free. We have to import the button from material UI as like this way. So you can see that we have used a button. So for the button, we have to give this size. I'm giving the size as a medium and the Variant we have to give the variant that is I am giving here, here contained so it is uh, as like this way. So now I am going to put uh, that button in the center of the screen. So for that I am giving a style in the div also that means position fixed. And left 30 percentage, uh, top 30 percentage. So you can see that it will be now in center, not center. Okay, I'm giving as 45 and 45. Okay, so now you can see that uh, start free is in the center of the screen. Okay. So next I'm going to do is to uh, use uh, two images in the same screen. So for that, I'm going to create an images folder and I'm going to import the images from the from my system. Uh, another image is this one so we have imported the images so i'm going to uh, use that images okay so here the first image in the image tag source And I'm going to import that images that is man from uh, 
images man.png and I'm going to use that man here as like this way. Then next uh, I'm going to use the image after the button source. I'm going to image uh, import the image that is exercise from that is exercise.png so here i am going to use that exercise just like this way now you can see that two images are there i am going to uh, change the uh, size of the images that is style here i am giving the width as 200 px and the height as 300 px same to this image also okay so you can see that now uh, i'm going to just uh, uh, change the position that is here i am giving 35 okay then here also 35 or 30 maybe drop down one mm. 30 here also may be applicable yes i think it is fine so just uh, 25 will be needed okay so now next i am putting an h to tag as like this way and i am writing that it's the time to organize your work okay and improve and improve nice state okay okay or organize the work and play state So next I'm going to change the color that is style as color gray. So you can see that uh, change the color. Uh, next I'm giving a, a, just a, a margin left 20 px. Okay, it's fine. Now, next I'm going to use the app bar from the material UI. You can see that when we scroll down in the components, there is a nav app bar. Okay, so you can see that uh, there are uh, several nav bars, app bars, design, several designs. So I'm going to uh, select a, a simple nav bar. So this is a simple nav bar. So I'm going to copy this one and to create a new component that is navbar dot js and to paste this code that i have uh, copied from the material ui and i'm changing this name as navbar okay so here uh, you can see that uh, we don't want the menu area just to be in the name so you can see that uh, i'm going to call that uh, navbar component here so you can see yes here is a navbar so i am going to change that name to yes to do okay okay yes to do so now uh, i'm going to uh, give an image tag here and uh, i'm going to use an image as a logo so import i'm going to change this into this image i have imported 
before okay so tick from images slash tick dot png okay so i am going to use this tick image here as like this way and i am giving the uh, size as width 50 px and the height 50 px then we can look what will happen yeah this one i am going to uh, reduce the size as 40 and 40 okay you can see that here again uh, 30 will be fine okay so i am also giving an uh, ss tag here so styles are giving in the material ui elements as ss sx tag so in the sx tag i am giving margin left as 55 px or 10 px or 15 weeks you can see that there will be a slight change here okay so we have uh, used a button that is start free button and uh, two images and also nav bar we have given the name of the app and uh, the logo so next day i'm going to implement the all zero sign up so for that i am going to the all zero uh, website I'm going to click on the first link okay so we will be redirected to the home page of the auth zero here you can see that in the navbar there is an option for sign up so I'm going to click on the sign up button so here you can see that there is an option by using we can sign up by using email uh, or other social network services like github google Microsoft or I am choosing the Google account for sign up. So I'm clicking this continue with the Google button. So next we will be redirected to the dashboard of this auth zero. Here in the beginning itself, you can see that there is a create application button. So I am going to click on the create application button. Then next we have to give the name of the project. So I am giving the name of the project as yes to do itself. As like this way. Send then we have to select the application type so here there is native single page web applications regular web applications machine to machine web applications so i am going to select the single page web applications then next you click on create button so here you can see that this is our project yes to do so here we need to select the technology that we are using so i am going to click on the react menu then next we have to select the uh, select a, an option that means uh, there is an option that is I want to integrate with my app or I want to explore a sample app. Here we have already created an app, a React.js project. So I'm choosing the I want to integrate with my app section. Here you can see that there are several steps. So first of all, we have to configure the auth zero. So for that, you can see when we move downward, here they are saying that we need to give the uh, give our uh, URL into the application settings uh, into our project. So I'm going to the application settings. Okay, so here you can see that this is the project that uh, created now is yes to do. So I'm going to click on that project and we will be redirected to the project section. So here you can see that in the settings part, here is the name of the project, domain, client ID, etc. etc. logo and next you can see that when we move downward there is a sections to give the url of callback and the url of logout so i am giving the url this localhost url itself so so i am pasting that in here as like this way and here also okay so next when we move bottom part you can see that there is a save changes button i am going to click on the save changes button then you can see that successfully saved your changes okay next i am going to select the quick start section and here 
you can see that I'm selecting react technology again here when we move downward we have done the configuration part that is we have given the uh, URL next when we move downwards you can see that we need to install Auth0 Auth0 react into our Auth0 react SDK into our react.js project so for that I am going to copy that Auth0 and uh, I am going to run that uh, uh, command in the project as like this way now or zero will be in, installed into our react.js project okay so now you can see that in the package.json uh, here you can see that okay so next uh, when we move downward again you can see that uh, we need to import uh, or zero provider into our index join index.js file so for that i am going to copy the same and to paste it in the index.js file as like this way okay so now next we need to uh, use that auth0 provider component here you can see and wrap the app.js into it so for that i'm going to use that auth0 as like this way and i'm wrapping that app.js component uh, app component into it okay The next we have to give these props that is domain client id or the authorization params into the auth0 provider so i am copying that and to give it here directly so we need to change this domain client id and we have to give the our own domain and client id that we will get when we move to the uh, application of our application so Here you can see that when we select our application, there will be domain and the client ID below the name. That is domain is here. So I am going to copy that domain and just paste that domain here as like this way. And also I am going to copy the client ID and to paste it here. Okay, so we have copied the domain and client ID from the from our project and paste it here then you can see that this is authorization params which uh, in which they are given the redirect url as uh, window.location.origin okay so we have done the index.js part of uh, the auth0 next uh, we, you can see that when we move downward after this index.js uh, we need to create a, a button for uh, giving a function for login so for that uh, we have already uh, created a component that is home component in which there is a button so i am giving this uh, function for auth0 to this uh, start free uh, button okay so when uh, whenever the user click on this start free uh, button it will be directly redirected to the email uh, authentication section so here itself i am going to import Here you can see that uh, we need to import the or use auth0 function from auth0 react. So I'm going to import the use auth0 from auth0 react and I'm going to use a function that is login login with the redirect. So copying this and paste it directly here so i have used a function that is login with the redirect from the use also as like this way the next part we have to do is just directly give this a login with the redirect into this on click of the login so copy this on click and i am pasting it here so now the login part has completed so next i'm going to do is i'm going to create another component sorry another component that is to do dot js to do dot js so here in this component in this page we are going to uh, 
uh, do the to we are going to add the uh, input button and other other areas so i am going to use an input that is text field from the uh, material ui as like this way you can see that uh, here is a text field when we uh, goes to the component section yeah here is it so here you can see the different type of text field are there outlined field standard as like this way i am going to use uh, now an outlined text field so uh, we can give the variant as outlined so i am giving as like this way variant outlined and also i am giving the size as medium and I, and also i am giving a label so uh, we can see that so we can see that here uh, there is an uh, there is a tag that is label in which we can give the label as like this way okay so i am giving the label as to do itself so, uh, i am giving as task okay so next what i am going to do is to uh, install the react router dom into our reactjs project so for that i am going to use the npm install react uh, router dom library as like this way so now the react router dom library will be installed into our reactjs project okay so now you can see that when you look the package.json there is react router dom okay so first of all i am going to the index.js and here i am going to import browser router okay you can see that here directly so browser router i have installed then imported then i am going to wrap this uh, app.js into this browser router as like this way so you can see that uh, i have imported the browser router from the react router dom and i have wrapped this uh, app.js into this browser router Okay. so next to what uh, we have like, i am going to do is i am going to the app.js and i am going to import the uh, roots and router first roots and or not router root okay that's like this way and i am giving that roots here as like this way so we need to give each root here That is, for example, uh, path as a root what to do. So, and an element that is the component is to do. I am giving here. Okay. So, and also I am giving the uh, home component as like this way for root path. That is uh, just a slash then element equal to the home component. Okay. So okay. So here uh, I have wrapped this root into roots. Okay. Okay. So now you can see that uh, when we given as slash um to do we will be redirected to the uh this to do page here you can see that we have already given a text field with the label task so next we have given the login button so inside this use author there will be an another thing that we can use that is is authenticated so this means if the login is uh if the user is logged in then is authenticated will be true then if the user is logged out this is authenticated will be false 
so this can be used to identify whether a user is logged in or not so by using that i am going to arrange the components or i am going to redirect the to the pages so next i am going to create a button again so here i am giving the uh, i am changing the name start free into sign up and here i am giving the start uh, start free okay so here also i am giving the variant that is uh, contained and size medium okay so here what is happening such as if i am giving a condition that means if the uh, user is logged in that means if it is is authenticated then we have to show the uh, start free button okay so is authenticated then we have to give this button otherwise we have to give the button for sign up okay so now you can see that here there are sign up button that means here now is authenticated is not true it is false so i am going to show it to you i am going to uh, console that i am showing it in the console is authenticated okay you can see that here when i take the console now it is false okay the user is not logged in okay so next i am going to this uh auth zero section and after login you can see that okay, there is a uh, section this is the uh, pop-up uh, ui of login so when we move downward you can see that there is a section for logout we have to use a button for logout also so i am going to use a button uh, in the to do component so here i'm giving another div. i'm creating another div and i'm putting this text field into that div and uh, i am giving the style to make it at the center of the screen that is position fixed left 45 percentage and top 45 percentage okay so here you can see that so this is our to do uh, page then uh, i am going to create a button that means it's like this way and uh, i'm giving as logout variant as contained itself so when we look here you can see that there is a logout button here okay so next i am going to create another button that means add button to add the task i'm giving contained variant to this button also okay now you can see that there is another button that is add button so i am giving the uh, size of that add button to medium itself I'm converting this uh, text field size into small. Okay, now it is fine. So, 
you can see that uh, there is a task uh, input field and add button and a logout so i am giving this uh, a margin left to this add button so ml uh, 10 px okay so you can see that there is a uh, margin margin here so i am just uh, reducing the uh, left portion okay now it is fine i think so and also i am uh, reducing the top because uh, we need to uh, we sh show the tasks list of tasks there okay here okay next this is the logout button i am going to just uh, uh, this uh, change the position of logout button also that means uh, I'm giving the SX as margin uh, left 15 px and the margin top as 15 px so okay so this is the to do uh, page I think it is uh, looking good. I don't change any color or uh, other things, but it is fine. So next, I'm going to use the uh, logout function in the in here. So I'm going to use the logout function as uh, like this way. Uh, for that, I need to import uh, first uh, use auth function from auth0 react then i have to use the cons logout equal to use auth as like this way okay so next i am going to give this uh, logout into the on click of the button so i am going to copy directly this one and to copy that okay so we have done the logout section so we have done the login and logout section so next i am going to this uh, uh going to all zero project yes to do here you can see that we are in the settings part next day after that you can see that there is a connection so i am going to click on connections here i am going to use uh, only google authentication so i am going to uh, switch this uh, username password authentication and github authentication now google authentication is only present so now you can see that i am going to click on this sign up button at that time a pop-up will be arrived okay so here it is showing that google uh, continue with google so when the user click on continue with google so here it is showing us access to your profile and email so i am going to click on the accept button so here what is happening is such that uh, the uh, authentication has happened the already a uh, email verification has sent to our email account automatically then uh, you can see that uh, the button has changed or switched to sign up to start free so i am going to uh, next I am going to do is I am going to the project and here in the here is start free button so I am going to change this start free button into a link from the react router down and I am uh, removing this size and variant and I am going to do is I am going to redirect into the to do page. Okay, so here I am giving this style as I am removing the uh, text decoration, that means uh, text decoration to none. Okay, so now you can see that here is a start a free button, and I am giving the color as white and background color as green sorry blue 
okay so now you can see that is not appealing so i am giving some uh, changes there i am giving that border radius here i am giving border radius so you can see that uh, i am giving that 5px so i have given the border radius as 5px and also i am giving a padding also so you can see that i have given a padding that is 5px okay then i am going to change the color as well so i am taking the html color code here you can see that there is a lot of color we can select the color here so here we can select the color so i am selecting the color uh, okay here i am copying this color and to paste it uh, here okay so it will be okay now it is uh, more uh, better so next uh, i'm going to just uh, increase the padding that is to 7px 7px so here uh, or 10px you can see that when i given the padding okay now it is more better so next time i'm going to click on the start free button at that time you can see that we will be redirected to the uh, to do uh, page so i'm clicking the start free button so okay no, now we have re redirected to to do page the next time i'm going to click on the logout button at that time we will be redirected to the home page and also you can see the sign up button here okay so next part is to integrate with the firebase so i'm going to the firebase website so in the new window i am going to select the firebase here i am going to click on the first link so we will be redirected to this page here you can see there is a get started button i am going to click on the get started button so here i am going to click on the add project button for creating a new project in the firebase so after that uh, we need to give the name of the project so i am giving as to do app as the name of the project and i'm going to click on the continue button so next day, click on continue again then the selected default account for firebase then click on cut create project again okay so now the new project will be created in our firebase so we have to wait for that okay so our new project has been created so next time i'm going to click on continue button then we will be redirected to the console of our project here you can see that there is ios uh, android and web option so i am going to click on the web here then next day we have to register our app so first of all we have to give the name of our app so i am giving as the to do app itself and here you can see that this is this section is for firebase hosting as of now I am going to click on the register app button here to register app first. Okay, so I'm using npm. Next step that we have to do is to add the Firebase SDK into our uh, React.js project. So uh, first of all, we have to install the Firebase into our React.js project using this command. I have copied the command and I'm pasting it here. So I have run this command and now the Firebase will be installed into our project. Okay, so Firebase Firebase has been installed into our project. So now you can see that in the package.json there is a Firebase. Okay, so next what we have to do is here you can see that uh, there is a uh, code snippet. So we have to paste this code snippet into our React.js project. So I'm going to copy this code here and I'm going to create another uh, folder that is Firebase folder. In that folder, I'm going to uh, create a file that is setup.js. Here I'm going to paste that code which I have copied from the uh, Firebase document. So first of all, I'm going to remove these whole commands for make it more clear okay 
so you can see that uh, first of all there is a firebase config section actually we don't want to bring any changes to this con firebase config section here is api key or domain project id api id etc uh, we don't want to bring any changes so i am going to just minimize that area so next you can see that there is an analytics section also we are don't going uh, don't to use this analytics in this video in this project so i am going to remove this analytics section also so now you can see that uh, they they have initialized the firebase app by importing initialize app from firebase app so first of all the thing that we have to do is to import one thing from firebase firestore so before that what we have to do is i'm going to the firebase document and after this there is a continue to console button i am going to click on continue to console button then we will be redirected to the, our home page of the project to do app in that here you can see that in the sidebar there is a build button so i am going to click on the build button then there will be a drop down that means it contains authentication app check fire store database real time database extension storage etc so i am going to select the fire store database Next, I'm going to click on the create database button. And you can see that we have to select a two or uh, there's a two option that is start in production production mode and start in test mode. So I'm going to select the start in production mode and click on next button. Next, we have to select the location. So I am going to click uh, select the Mumbai as the location and click on enable button. Okay, so now we will be redirect to redirected to our database this is our database so now what i am going to do is in our project i'm going to take the to do con component here there is a text field and an add button so first of all i'm going to sign up by with the google then we will be redirected to uh, this section here i we need to click on start free then we will be redirected to this to do page so next i am going to add the task into the uh, firebase uh, database so for that i am going to define a state that is const task as like this way so here uh, in the text field i am giving the on change so in the on change button i am giving that set the set task e dot target dot value okay i am giving e here okay so now uh, we have given the uh, set task here in the text field so next i am going to uh, define a function and giving it in this on click of the uh, uh, on click of this uh, button so i am giving as add task for the uh, name of the function add task and uh, i am going to define that uh, function here const add task is equal to okay so here we need to use another function from the uh, firebase that means add doc so to add or, or add each document to, uh, to the firebase database so i have imported that add doc from the firebase firestore here okay so i'm giving as async await And also I'm putting it in try catch as like this way. Okay. So next what you can see that I am going to uh, specify the collection that we need to create 
so i am going to um, give the reference to that collection so that is task ref is equal to i am creating i am using a function that is collection which is imported from the firebase firestore and as a first tip uh, argument we need to give the uh, database so next tip, what i am going to do is in the setup file of the firebase i am going to import get to firestore from the firebase firestore okay next tip, what i am going to do is i am going to define a variable and i am giving the name of the variable as database which is equal to get to firestore and i am giving this app into this Firestore, get Firestore as an argument. So when we, when we are uh, uh, doing authentication or using this Firestore, what we have to do is we have to give this app uh, variable into this get uh, into this function as like this as an argument. Then we have to export this variable because we need to use that in all other files. So I have exported that uh, database. Then now we can do is we can give that database here as the first arguments. So we i have imported that from firebase setup file okay as a second argument we have to give the name of the collection so we have to we have to create an collection here in the uh in the uh, in the uh, firebase we can manually uh, create a collection by clicking the collection here but actually we need to create a collection from here so i am giving the name of collection as tasks and okay, this is what we have to give in the task graph so here i am going to give this task graph uh, as a part argument of the argument into this add doc function so next we have to give the uh, this task uh, into here as an object so i am giving and the same name as task and giving this task into it okay now you can see that we can create a collection here a collection and a document and a, the the task into this firebase from the from our uh, react js project so i am going to import i have to import here it a new state so next you can see that when i new state as not as you state important so next when i given in task you can see that it will be stored in our firebase database okay so i am giving the task as exercise okay and i am going to click on the add button at that time you can see that when i refresh the okay we need to do one thing that means uh, uh, here in this uh, you can see that when we go uh, you can see that here we are in the data section of the database so here there is a rules section so we need to click on rules I'm going to click on roles and now you can see that allow read write if false so we need to change that allow read write into true so for that i am putting true here and i am going to click on the publish button and you can see that there will be a pop-up will arrive as published changes okay now we can uh, i'm going to data section now we can uh, give the task here directly so i'm giving the task exercise as like this way and clicking the add button and that time you can see that when i refresh the firebase console yes the new task collection is added then this is the document id and also there is task that is exercise okay so we have added a task to the uh, firebase database okay we have uh, uh, used the add doc so next what i am going to do is to use or use the or get the document from the firebase and show it in the browser so we have to list that in here okay that is the uh, purpose of to do so i'm going to use or define another function that means get the task which is an arrow function okay so uh, in that arrow function i am going to use the get docs function as like this way and i am giving a sync await here also
so i am giving try catch console dot error okay so next what i am going to do is i am going to uh, define a task graph and in that task graph i am going to use the collection function and as a first argument i am going to give the database itself and as a second argument the name of the uh, collection that is tasks and I am giving this task graph into this get docs function. So next I am going to call this get task function in the user effect as like this way. Okay. That is get task. Okay. Sorry, get task. So now you can see that uh, we have uh, get the task. So I am going to uh, assign that into a variable data. So here you can see that I am going to console that data which we get from the firebase so here you can see that when i take the console this is the structure of data that is query snapshot here you can see that it is not uh, in the form of form that we can use directly so here uh, this our data is in the docs section here you can see that uh, the uh, id is there that means this is the same id that in the uh, id of our uh, document so that means this is the uh, section or this is the area where we have that document so but it is not in the form that we can use directly so we had to convert that into the form which we can use directly so for that i am going to define another uh, variable that is filter data in which i am going to uh, use docs.map function map method okay so uh, this docs is we have already seen this is the docs so this there is a data so each doc in the each doc we need to uh, first spread that doc and to give the data function as like this way and the next uh, we have to give the uh, that dog dot id also as like this way okay so next i'm going to do is to create another uh, state and giving the name as uh, uh, task data task data okay just like this way so actually uh, it is not the uh, string we have given give the uh, array empty array Okay, so I have given that uh, filter data into this set task data. So now you can see that uh, when I console the uh, task data, you can see it. Yes, this is the task data. Okay, so here is the task exercise and the ID that id is given uh, from here as like this way okay so we can take that uh, task data and to show it in the 
uh, browser okay so for that uh, below this button area i am going to use that uh, task data and to map the task there that is this is each task so task so this is i'm giving data data dot task okay it will be fine so i think yes here comes the exercise so now i am giving it as a list i think it will be better yes so you can see that uh, uh, there comes our uh, exercise list okay so i am just uh, putting a style here as uh, margin top uh, margin top that means uh, margin top to 30 px so here you can see that uh, it moves downward so next i am going to so we have uh, added the data into the firebase and we also get the data from the firebase and show in the browser so next i am going to uh, put another task that is reading and when i click on the add button and refresh the page you can see that there is exercise and reading also so uh, now as of now when we added any uh, exercise that uh, cooking or any uh, task uh, it will not uh, reload automatically so i am going to put a, a window dot location dot reload manually for uh, reloading it so now i think it will be uh, okay so when i click on yes now it is uh, shown but so when i am i am adding another task that is uh, working and click on add button now you can see that uh, yes it is showing a uh, working here so it is fine so we have uh, added the document into our firebase you can see that uh, and uh, we have uh, get the document from, uh, from the firebase and shown here so next uh, i'm going to uh, update the document and uh, delete the document so for that uh, i'm going to use another button so i'm going to use the button here uh, that is along with the list itself that means a button so for each element or each task we need to edit and delete button so i am going to give update and variant as uh, i'm just giving outlined here for the edit and giving the color when we uh, go to the uh, material ui you can see that uh, there in the button there are different uh, styles we can give there is color as success when we give the color success it will be green okay so we can give the uh, color and other uh, other uh, styles very easily in this material ui so as like this way when we go to the realize project you can see that it is update as like this way so uh, now what i am going to do is i am going to uh, give an on click in this button and in this button i am giving update task as the function so i need to uh, so i need to uh, define that update task so i am defining that update task as like this way okay so here update doc this is uh, i am giving a single await and also try catch
error console dot error okay so now you can see that we have a used update docker which we have imported from the uh, firebase fire store then what we have to do next is i am going to uh, define a variable that is const uh, task doc here what we have to do is we have to specify the document that we need to update so i am going to use another function that means doc from the which is imported from the uh, firebase fire store so inside that doc what we have to do is first of all we have to give the database itself as the first argument the next a second argument also we have to give the task name of the task uh, collection then next we have to give the id so here you can see that there is id of each document so we have to specify that id for identifying the document so you can see that we have used this update task here from this here we will get the id of that each task so here id is the data dot id so data dot id we have given here and we can take that id as like this way and to give directly here okay so uh, we have taken that id there then next i am going to copy this task doc and paste it here next we have to give as a second argument the input value that we have to we are going to give i am going to give the same task itself same input here as like that of add task so task Just like this way so now you can see that uh, when we move to the uh, page here is the update button so now i am going to uh, change this exercise into another task so i am going to shopping uh, so and i am going to click on the update button then you can see that uh, when i refresh the page it will be now shopping so we have done the update doc also uh, or i am also giving window dot uh, uh, location dot uh, location dot uh, reload here also in the update function sorry not here uh, inside okay so here i am going to update the working uh, as uh, i am giving it as singing and uh, when i click on the update button you can see that it will be uh, changed to singing now okay so we have done three th uh, three functionalities that means add a document add document get the document and also update the document so next we are going to do the delete documents that means in the uh, here uh, along with the update button we are going to uh, give the another button that means delete button so here as a delete button and i'm giving the same variant that is outlined as like this way and we can give color as you can see that in the material ui uh, when we give the color as error it will be red colored so i am giving the color as error here so you can see that there will be another button or delete it here it is so next what we have to do is we need to give the on click and we have to pass the function into that on click so I'm going to pass the function that delete doc sorry delete task here also we need to get the or give the ID as the argument so I am giving the data dot ID so we need to uh, get the to identify that uh, document so next i am going to define the function that means const delete task as like this way and in the delete task i am going to uh, use another function from the uh, firebase that is delete doc okay we have imported the delete doc from the firebase firestore 
so i'm going to uh, write async await async await as like this way and i'm also giving the try key. so here i'm going to uh, console the error as like this way so next i am going to give this into this try okay so uh, we have done the delete task so next what i am going to do is to i am uh, going to define uh, a variable that means task doc as the name of the variable and in that uh, task doc i am using the doc function which i have imported already imported from the firebase firestore and if, as a first argument i am going to give the database and as a second argument i am going to give the name of the collection that is tasks okay then as a third argument we have to give the id so i have already passed that id as an argument that's like this way sorry i id okay so we have a uh, uh, we have defined the variable next i am going to copy that variable into this this delete doc function okay so you can see that uh, i am going to click on the delete button at that time this hopefully this shopping will be removed so as of now we have to refresh the page the shopping has removed it i am going to put uh, look window dot location Total reload here also. Then you can see that when I click on the delete button, the reading will be disappeared. Okay, we can delete each of the tasks as like this way. So we have added the task and we have shown the task in the browser and we have updated the and deleted the task. So just uh, as a UI purpose, I am going to uh, give the size as small. for the update and the delete button i think it will be more better okay visually better is that i'm going to giving another task i'm going to delete this task then i'm giving the task as okay we have done the uh, add document, delete document, update document, and read document. So, if this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to your channel, like the video, and comment your feedback. Thank you.